Hey everyone, so just thought I'd go over my setup with you, show you what I'm using. Um, apologies if I missed anything, and if the camera is a bit shaky, I'm holding it with my hand today. Um, so, this is my setup that I'm currently using. I uh, use an old vintage Premier drum kit, which I love to bits. It's actually the first drum kit I ever had, so I was very, very fortunate. Customised uh, bass head for the band I play in, the Collectives. There's the date and the badge I use for my kit. It's been um, through the wars a little bit, sadly. I'm not the first owner, obviously. It's about, I estimate, sort of um, 60s, early 60s, maybe late 50s kit. Uh, the bass drum, floor tom, and snare drum are all the same age. Um, but I have two toms that are a bit younger. Um, I only use the high tom and floor tom because I like to play with a nice low ride. Secondly, um, I play in a 50s sort of swing band, so there's not really any need um, for a mass amount of fills. So that works nicely for me. Uh, Snare drum, 14 inch, I've got the Weather King Coated Ambassadors by Remo, you can't really go wrong with those. I'm using uh, Weather King Pinstripes for the top head and Clear um, Ambassadors for the res heads. Um, same deal with the um, floor tom. It is pre-international sizes um, other than the snare drum, so I have to get them all specially ordered through uh, the Land of Music. Same deal with the, the bass drum, I've got a clear pinstripe on the, uh, as a batter head. Sounds absolutely fantastic. Really, really beautiful drum kits. Um, yeah, just fantastic uh, craftsmanship really when they built these. I believe they're birch shells. Um, I have heard a lot of talk about beech wood, but I'll be truthful with you. I can't remember very much of it right now. I think it's either a beechwood shell and a birch hoop um, or the other way around. I've been doing a lot of research on other people's drum kits at the moment and I've got too many different kinds going through my head. Um, so yeah, I use um, Sabian cymbals. I absolutely love them. I'm not endorsed by anyone, but I saved up and just went for the cymbals that I love the sound of. Um, I stuck to the HHX range. I'm using the 17 inch HHX Evolution Crash, the 14 inch HHX Groove Hats, and the ride I'm using is the HHX 20 inch Power Ride. Absolutely lovely ride, it's got a beautiful ping to it. I'm using Shaw Mics. For floor, I've got the PG56. Same thing for the high tom and the same thing for the snare drum. Um, at the moment when I play live I'm not playing anywhere big enough to warrant you know overheads and things like that so all I normally do is play with the bass and snare mic'd up and that will go through the mixer and out the PA. Let's see what else have we got here. So percussion wise I um, do play a lot of percussion in our band. I've got the LP percussion blocks and my tambourine and I also have uh, next to me set up at all times in my little percussion box that goes next to me Let's just put that there for a second I've got the tambourines that I use uh, tambourines, triangles that I use um, another wood block egg shakers have to have those really moon gel always, always moon gel my drum kit just to get rid of some of those overtones when you're playing live. I won't show you my earplugs, but I do use earplugs for rehearsals. I don't actually use them live, just because I, at the moment, feel there's more benefit for me in hearing everything that's going on. If uh, we were playing bigger shows and the volume was going up, maybe I would use them. Um, stick holders. Yeah, these are fantastic little things. They're just uh, five pound stag ones I've got off Amazon. And quite frankly, they're a little bit of a safety blanket for me. If I drop a drumstick, um, I like to have them all around me so that I can grab one with each hand. Um, I use, currently, the Promark um, 
5AL with Promark stick wrap, so I don't actually drop, drop drumsticks very much, but uh, yeah, like I say, it's just handy to have that security of having sticks all around you live. All right, so I think that pretty much covers, oh no, of course not. Tama Iron Cobra hi-hat stand, best hi-hat stand I've ever had. Absolutely love this thing, it's like a tank. It's absolutely brilliant. And my Tama Iron Cobra, it's actually double pedal, but I've taken Okay, these. part two, because my floor tom fell over. Um, yeah, as I was just saying, Tama Iron Cobra pedal, it's actually a double pedal, but uh, I took the secondary beater off because, um, yeah, the music I'm playing at the moment doesn't really warrant a double pedal. And it's just easier to fit it all in the gig bag, uh, or gear bag, I should say. All right, so that encompasses my setup as far as I can tell. If you have any questions, just let me know. See you later.